You came back. Hey, now let's talk about it. Talk about it. You came back. Hey, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now go. Hey, hey, it's free, and welcome to part two of this mini series about vitality of semen. Sexucation series of the Soul Growth. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to talk about the benefits of seminal retention, or what some people may consider to be no fat, even though there's a slight difference, and I'm gonna talk about that. So there's actually a group of people that have been studying what they call no fat, N-O-F-A-P. And these people pretty much find ways to enjoy themselves but not have ejaculate, right? The importance of this, as they've learned to understand, and, and the many benefits that they have given, higher energy, less depression, an increase in stamina, an increase in sexual stamina, like you can last longer. You know how, you know, and so an increase in confidence, an increase in swag, like these are really, really important things for most men to have and to be, to maintain a certain status, essence, and being about themselves in regular everyday life. So the no fat following, I don't want to call it a people, I don't want to call it a fad, I don't want, I don't know what to call it, but the people that follow no fat have seen tremendous results. And they talk about it in forums, there's lots of videos, there's lots of information out there. I even think that Mike Tyson did no fap. I think that, uh, what's that guy's name? Terry Crews and things like that. They've learned and understood the power of it. And even if you think about it, even in sports, they actually say, don't ejaculate before you have an event because they want you to preserve that energy because they understand how much it actually drains you when you ejaculate. It is also very firmly believed that seminal retention decreases your chances of erectile dysfunction as you get older or prostate problems because you're keeping that vitality and that energy and you're recirculating it within you rather than releasing it at massive amounts of power. Like there's so much power that goes into an ejaculation and we don't even really fully understand it. But I'm telling you, the ancients understood this. They followed it, they practiced it, they, they studied it and they learned. This is a powerful force and it, you can do so much more with yourself if you just don't release it. And they never say don't have sex. They never say don't enjoy your life. They never say don't have fun and have pleasure. They want you to have that. They just want you to understand the inherent risks within it and how to move differently, how to maneuver differently, how to understand, okay, well, I don't want to have, I'm just, I'm just going to say it. I don't want to have a limp dick when I'm older. <laughs> You know, so the understanding of that, you know, I don't want to, I want to increase my life expectancy. I want to live longer. I want to live to a hundred. I want to be long and strong and, uh, you know, until I'm a hundred, 110, you know, understanding that, that you don't have to be old and decrepit and falling apart by the time you're 50 or 60 or 70, which is the rate that we're going at, you know, understanding that is a massive benefit in my honest and personal opinion but you can be the judge of that do you feel like it will be worth it do you feel like it's worth putting that energy and effort into it not only can you increase your life expectancy you can actually decrease many of the things that plague us right now including things like osteoporosis and like i said prostate problems erectile dysfunction um you the, the exercises that I'm going to give in the next video and talk about and the things that I'm going to talk about in the next video are, are intended to help you to understand like you could actually become a stronger, wiser, clear, more clear minded, more powerful version of yourself if you take advantage of this opportunity and of this information dig a little bit deeper because I'm only going to touch on the surface and provide you as many resources as possible this is important to understand this is vital for life so I can't cover all of this this deep information that took thousands of years to cover very quickly and so um, next week I want to talk about how to last longer in bed I want to talk about how to be stronger and how to, how to have stronger and longer more powerful orgasms 
and so much more like understanding that um, most people that have followed either the nofap or seminal retention actually boast and, and speak on like you know their sex life is even better they last longer in bed they have more powerful erections they have more powerful experiences it's deeper than just a nut it's so much deeper and it's so much more like and just you can have an even better experience without limiting it to just that to without taking away your life force like that is so worth it to me uh, but you know I'll let you be the judge of it my goal is to inform people my goal is to let you guys know what it is let you know let you know what the research that I have done has presented and, and shown but ultimately you are the judge jury and executor of your life and your energy but if you're here I hope you are willing to use your energy wisely because I want you to live longer I want you to be stronger I want you to be more powerful and I'm sure any woman you want wants you here just for the same just as long as possible not just for a little while if you're married she wants you here for the long run and she would like a nice strong man all that time Next week, we're going to really talk about different methods and ways to go about this, to attain it, different resources to help you get there even faster. And I thank you so much for tuning in and being here with me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this topic. Let's go, y'all. Yeah.